So when someone's diagnosed with non-small cell now, it's not enough to just say it's non-small cell lung cancer. We need to divide it up further. Um, and so the first step is by histology, but then even more important is by the molecular underpinnings of the tumor. And so we find the EGFR epidermal growth factor receptor mutations in about 10% of patients. Uh, it's much higher in different subpopulations, especially patients who have never smoked to develop lung cancer. Um, but we can't always tell by looking at the patient, so we have to do the testing. Um, we also can look for ALK, and those are the two that really matter across the board for finding out first, because we have trials now that have compared targeted therapy to, chem to chemotherapy in those patients, all of them showing better response rates and longer time till progression by starting with the appropriate targeted drug if that mutation is there. So the molecular profiling is absolutely critical and it's really important that we try to get that done fairly quickly within a week, ideally, two at the most. Um, but there are also a lot of other molecular changes that we're now looking for that can also lead to different therapies besides just chemo.